So when the disciples ask him, what shall be the end of the world? We look up the word end, which the word end is suntelia, suntelia, which means completion, consummation, end. Because when an empire is complete, what happens? It becomes consumed. And what happens? The power and regions, lands, and riches of that particular empire is translated or transferred to the next rulers that conquered that particular empire. And that's why when Yahweh Shai comes back, it says, I beheld to the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit. So all the thrones of the heathen nations being cast down, that's what Yahweh Shai is coming to do. He's coming to battle Esau and the other nations to take them down. To be set back up into power on the earth because his glory is already in the heavens he already got his praise and his glory and his status everything in the heavens but as the apostle paul says in hebrews 2 that we see not all things yet put under him because not everyone is acknowledging and praising and lauding and crediting the names of Yahweh Shai as being the Lord. They're calling them Jesus, Yeshua, Yehoshua, and all those other different names. Some of them are calling them Yeshaya, Isaiah, but they're not crediting him as Yahweh Shai, the son of the Most High, a so-called black man, you know, coming to take power on the earth and to get the rest of his blessing and glorification on the earth. All of these empires are going to be transferred or translated over to Yahweh Shai and he's going to share it with us. Psalm 2 Why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. That sitteth in heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Ask of me. And I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him.